Hi guys, today we're going to have fun with music and technology. I'm going to show you how to use a beat sequencer in GarageBand to create your own beat track, which you can then use in lots of ways. You might use it as a backing track for your cool rap. You might just like to listen to, um, listen to it while you're chilling out and relaxing. So here we go. First, we'll go into GarageBand. The icon for your GarageBand app is in a white electric guitar on a red and yellow background. You come into a view like this. This is the song library. This is most likely other people's work, so just leave that. And to create a new track, just press the plus sign. Today we're using tracks, so make sure it looks like this. If it looks like this, you're in live loops. All you need to do is switch back to tracks. We're creating a drum beat, so find the one that says drums. Down the bottom it says smart drums, acoustic drums, beat sequencer, and more sounds. Click on beat sequencer and it will look like this, a nice and colorful grid. This grid represents one bar of rhythm, one bar only with four beats in it. The four beats are further subdivided. So you can see each of those little squares represents a quarter of a beat. On the left, you can see some color coded um, pictures. Those are the parts of your drum drum kit all separated out. The first one is the kick drum, the pink one. That's your bass drum sound. Second one below that in orange is the snare drum. Below that is the hand clap. Below in blue, there's two um, pictures there in blue and they are the hi-hat. The first one is the closed hi-hat sound, which is going to sound like this. And the one below is the open hi-hat sound, which will sound a bit more like this. So closed and open. In the green, they are the tom-toms, the extra drums on the drum kit. And below that, in purple, the drumsticks represent a rim shot. That's when you use your drumsticks to hit against the rim of the drum. And it makes almost like a tapping, a loud tapping stick sort of sound. All right, if we press play, there's no sounds in here at the moment. So there's nothing going on. Let's add some sounds in. The way to do that is to just select which, um, which beat you want in which instrument. So I've just added in um, some kick drum sounds. Let's have a listen. Very simple. The kick drum is providing the backbone to my beat. All right, I'm going to add in some snare. Alrighty, I'm going to just add in my snare. Add it in whenever, wherever you like and then see if you like the way it sounds. quite like that. Um, okay, I'm going to add in some, I'm not going to add in hand claps because I don't have to add in everything. The risk of adding in too many sounds is it sounds too busy and you can't actually get a feel for the beat. So I'm not going to worry about hand clap. I'm going to do some closed cymbal sounds. So have a listen to how this sounds. I quite like that. But you know what? I want to mix it up with a bit of open hi-hat too. So I might swap this one uh, for an open sound. See if you can hear the difference. I quite like that. Okay. Now, I don't want to make my beat too complicated, like I said. It wants to be quite simple. So although the toms are fun, and I'll let you listen to what, the tom toms sound like. I don't want them in my my drum beat. It's just going to be a bit too many sounds. I'm going to add some um, some rim shots though. So I might see what it sounds like if I add them in here. I quite like that. Notice um, the pattern of my coloured squares. If you look at the horizontal, uh, look at them vertically, I don't have too many sounds all happening at once. The risk of that is there's too much going on. So you want to actually make it so you've got them happening at different times and then your rhythm's going to sound really exciting. I quite like that. I think I've got an extra one there I don't need. Okay, you can record it when you're happy with it just by pressing the record button. There it goes. 
you can record for as long as you like. Then what you're going to do, have a look at the top icons. The first one up there is a white piece of paper with a cold corner folded over. That will take you back to your song bank. We don't want to go back there. The next one in line will take you back to where we looked at the tracks. We don't want to be there at the moment. The next one along looks like a bunch of horizontal white lines. If you press that one, it'll take you into the track view. The track view is showing you what your drum beat looks like. What you can do then is press the little plus at the bottom. And this time we're going to add a microphone sound because we're going to record some rap music. You can choose a different voice you might like to use or clean if you just want it to sound like you. And then when you press record, you can record um, against your rap beat. Uh -huh. yeah. Music is awesome. Uh -huh. yeah. Okay. Now if I go back into track view, which is those horizontal lines, Normally my recording will be there and it will look like sound waves. The reason why it's not recorded at the moment is because I'm using the screen recording function and the iPad is using the microphone to do that. But when you have a go, you'll be able to see that your voice has been recorded and you can have a listen to it. From there, you can add in extra layers of sound. You can export as well if you wanted to send it to your teacher's iPad, um, my iPad and you can really create a masterpiece. So have fun, I can't wait to see what you make.